It is a new beginning for a Newport landmark. Today, the newly redesigned Queen Anne Square was finally dedicated after more than a year of planning. Millions of dollars worth of work and some strong opposition to the design created by a world-renowned architect. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North joins us live now with details that are new at 5. Susan, when the design plan made its debut, it literally erupted into a queen-size controversy that attracted national attention. But today, it was smooth sailing for the dedication in the city by the sea. It is now open for your pleasure and for Newport's great benefit. After design, downscaling, and modifying, and many months of constructing, the meeting room, an installation by world-renowned artist and architect Maya Lin, was dedicated and open to the public today. The park now becomes a place of celebration and of reflection. But the process to get to this point was anything but peaceful. Opponents of the new park design felt the seating areas and stone foundations wouldn't be a proper tribute to Newport's history and heritage. The architect admits sometimes the criticism was harsh and personal. From an artist's point of view, in a funny way, you kind of want to welcome open comments. And if you're going to name a piece the meeting room, you'd better invite lively debate in. And as Newport kicks off its lively summer season, Mayor Harry Winthrop and even Governor Chafee are happy to put the controversy to rest and are hoping this revitalized park will become another popular spot for busy tourists. We're going to give you what you need, not what you want. And I think we've given the citizens what they need in this beautiful park. It's just a treasure to be part of uh, restoring this public space. And as she said, uh, what was here before is so different from what we're celebrating here today. And along with plantings and new lighting, the park also features almost a dozen new benches and free Wi-Fi. City officials are hoping it truly becomes a gathering spot. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.